Hi, today I want to go through the process of upgrading my Windows and we'll go through a couple of things that I would suggest that you do first. Uh, the first thing being that you really need to, before you attempt the upgrade, you do that by going to the desktop, right click on the Windows key, open your control panel, system and you can see your Windows edition here and in this case it's 8.1 and we're going to click on this link to upgrade to a new edition of Windows but before we do that I just want to mention a couple of things first thing to look at would be your task manager which is right click on the bottom bar here go to performance and you can see there's plenty of CPU usage available and plenty of memory available to, to do the upgrade with close that go to your PC and you can see that there's plenty of room on the C drive. I, I bought the 64 gigabyte version. But the upgrade needs to happen on your C drive, not on your secure digital card, but on the C drive. And Microsoft recommend 20 gigabyte for the upgrade. Now, whether that's 20 gigabyte in total, including Windows 8, or 8.1? I don't know. We'll find out after the upgrade is done. 33 gigabyte left and we'll be using 20 of that. But we have a, a digital storage device on there as well so I'm not too worried about using up the space. Close that. So let's go ahead. Right click on the Windows key. Control panel system and you would click on this link here get more features with a new edition of Windows I want to buy a product key online and choose the only one that's offered to me and it's going to want my billing details so I, I'm just going to pause the video and come back to this as soon as I've entered those details. Okay, I've gone through the process of buying the license and copied the information to my notepad including the receipt for the license and the product key. It's now going through and starting to add the, the features that I've just bought, which is the Pro version, and it may restart more than once uh, before the features are added to the device. So I'm just going to pause the video until it's updated and then let you see the difference for when it's updated. Back to you shortly. Okay, we're back. The system has gone through the process of upgrading to Windows 8.1 Pro Edition now. And if we want to confirm that, right click on your Windows key, go to Control Panel. And the Control Panel's changed somewhat because uh, other features have been enabled now. But we still want the, the System tab. And you can see now that it's upgraded to Windows 8.1 Pro with Media Center. On this particular system, there was no need to buy a separate upgrade for Media Center, so that's already installed. Now, I'm just going to take advantage of one of the new systems that has been installed. And again, if we go to our control panel, back to system, and have a look at remote settings, 
This initially will be set at don't allow remote connections to this computer, but because I, I use it all the time, RDP as it's called, I've enabled allow remote connections to this computer, and I've also checked the box allow connections only from computer running remote desktop with network level authentication. So we'll click on OK for that. And I'm just going to pause the video again. And I'm now going to connect with remote desktop rather than an invitation for remote assistance. Back shortly. Hi, we're back again and connected with RDP or remote desktop, if you like. The sharp-eyed amongst you will notice that the date and time has changed. Uh, basically, I ran out of time yesterday. Um, family commitments with computers and so on. So, we're going to go ahead and check out a few things. First thing I want to have a look at now is Task Manager. Performance. And you can see the performance uh, on the CPU is more or less the same. The memory available is more or less the same. I've connected over Ethernet rather than wireless at the moment. Basically it just uh, gives me a faster connection to use RDP. We we'll look at the PC. You can see that the amount of space available is more or less the same as yesterday and the reason for that uh, is that this is obviously a version of Windows which has the Pro already installed but just needs to be switched on with uh, the purchase of the, the Pro Pack. Network is not much to look at here because I'm connected with Ethernet rather than the wireless connection, I'm seeing a couple of extra things. Probably the most important thing to see is uh, TS Client. Now what that allows you to do is to basically browse your whole network and copy folders and files directly using RDP rather than having to do it another way. We just uh, quickly click on connect with re remote desktop and you can see I can now connect to one or more computers with remote desktop. The properties on this PC you saw in the previous section that uh, I had the Windows 8 1.1 Pro with Media Center. And that just about covers it for this video. Successfully upgrading to the Pro Pack on Windows 8.1 and adding a few features and of course the main thing is uh, that adding these features allows you to connect within your network, uh, home or business network and do various things. It's especially good for IT personnel to be able to do things on the portable computer in an easier way. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.